Hello again everyone. This video will give the procedure for the effects of UV light on bacterial growth. The first step in this exercise is to immerse the sterile swab inside the broth culture of the organism given to your group. Make sure that you gently squeeze the swab stick along the side of the test tube to remove the excess broth and prevent it from dripping. The second step is the inoculation of the nutrient agar plate using your swab with an overlapping streaking pattern. To perform the overlapping streaking pattern, four streaks should be done in one petri dish. So the first streak, position your swab on the upper left hand corner and then start moving from side to side in a zigzag manner, going all the way down, making sure that there is not much spaces or as much as possible, no spaces in between. After that, another streak is given perpendicular to your um, initial streak, so it's going on this direction. So from here, cover the whole plate, make sure that there are no spaces. And then the third streak is given on another perpendicular manner. Again, zigzag, making sure that there are no spaces in between using the same swab. So that is your third streak. And the fourth streak is done on a diagonal basis. So from here, going all the way down. You can rotate your, your Petri dish while you streak so that um, you can perform the pattern better. So after the fourth streak, there should be no spaces in your Petri dish and it should be completely covered with organism. Step three is the addition of the aluminum foil. Before you put the aluminum foil, remove the plastic lid of the Petri dish and then place the aluminum foil over half of the Petri dish and then cover the Petri dish again with the plastic lid. Step four is to expose the Petri dish under the UV light for two hours. Make sure that the plastic lid of the Petri dish is removed before exposing it to the UV light. And also, it should be incubated in an upright manner to ensure that the UV light can reach the organisms. After two hours exposure under the UV light, remove the aluminum foil and replace the plastic lid of the Petri dish. After that, we can now incubate for 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. Step six is done on day two after 24 hours of incubation, and we are to read and interpret the Petri dish results. A report of positive is given when there is bacterial growth. So in this case, this is the bacterial growth. And the interpretation given to this is a positive growth. A report of negative is given when there is an absence of bacterial growth. So this, the left side of the Petri dish shows an absence of bacterial growth. So the interpretation for that is negative growth. And that is all for the effects of UV light on bacterial growth video. Thank you very much for watching.